All right, level eight, meditate. Back in uh, Caledum here. Uh, this is pretty much my adopted home. Not Caledum, but this guild. Oh my God, my keyboard is just killing me right now. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, the, the right arrow on my keyboard gets stuck. What is with this little face? That's creepy. All right, so why is Meditate so great? Have I been overhyping it? No, absolutely not. So I'm gonna train it once and it automatically jumps up to eight. That's awesome. Um, do I have a bunch of copper and stuff? Oh, I put some copper in the bank. Not a lot though. I would like to get, let's see if there's anything else I wanna pump. There's no point in putting any more than one. My divination is so bad. Okay. What's so great about peace, love, and understanding? I mean, meditate, meditate. Um, so, yeah, of course my mana is like almost full, so it doesn't matter. Cast some of these buffs. All right, so my mana is at 72%. If I just sit here, it's gonna take a while to go up. I just jumped by three, but if I press this little book and then I press meditate, unfortunately right now you have to be in your spell book for this to work. You'll see, I'll just keep my, it, it goes up a lot faster. And another concept that I haven't done a good job of explaining yet is the concept of ticks in this game. Ooh, who's that? These Dwarven guards look so buff. Good workout plan for those guys. The concept of ticks is very important in this game. A tick is something that occurs once every six seconds. It applies to pretty much everything. Hello there. If you're casting a spell that's a damage over time, the damage over time will occur once every six seconds or once every tick. Your hit points automatically go up once every six seconds or once every tick. Same with your mana. Every tick, your mana will go up, your hit points will go up. Now, if I hadn't sat down and pressed meditate there, it would have been a lot slower to go up. Is this the way out of here? No, it's not. Wait, am I going? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, meditate is huge when you're in a group or soloing. It doesn't really matter when you're here hanging around in a town. Basically, what, I'm about to try to solo some of these dwarf skeletons in um, Butcher Block, because I think now that I have one level advantage on them, the annoying thing is having to remember to do Meditate. But every time I cast this spell on them, a nuke, it's going to take forever for it to regenerate mana. And as you've seen in the past, sometimes when I'm soloing, or even in the group, I cast my spells, and then I'm just like, shit out of luck for a few minutes. Well, with Meditate, it, it helps alleviate that. Instead of being shit out of luck for a few minutes, I'm now shit out of luck for, eh. Okay, still a few minutes if I'm out of mana, but, but less minutes. And it gets better as you get higher in level. It regenerates faster, but of course, that's counteracted by the fact that you have less mana at those higher levels, so it kind of evens out. Um, you have more mana at those higher levels, I should say. It's just killing me. I need a new laptop. Um, yeah, so meditate, it's... I should have been like zero mana to demonstrate how, how effective it is compared to... I could do a timer on it. Basically, it just makes you regen mana faster. All right, so I will pick back up here if something... Ooh, I'll take that. Sells pretty well. I'll pick back up here. Uh, well, you know what? I'm about to. I'm almost to where the dwarf skeletons are. So let me just try to do one on camera here. It's getting dark. Times it. Seven. Yeah. 
Now, I ran by here once, and this guy, I think it was this guy, said something. You talking to me? Guard Kisber? I think he was. Uh, he said something about rogues or bandits or something. Oh, a goblin wizard. Oh, no, no. I'm not doing any yellows. So, wizards are almost universally in this game the NPC that you want to avoid the most. Shamans are up on that list too. Um, the spells that they cast are just such a pain in the ass to deal with. It's just so not worth it. The wizard spells, I mean, unless you're, like I was talking about resist last time. And by the way, I was looking at this and gnomes actually get a pretty good deal here because this is an underrated racial attribute in my opinion. People talk about when they pick a race, they, they mostly look at these stats, but I think that these are, are in the long run, equally important. Because having 25 magic, fire, and cold right off the bat is really good. Now, disease and poison are kind of low. They're not even that low, they're just kind of low. Nope. Uh, disease and poison, though, you you encounter those less throughout the course of the game. There are absolutely scenarios where NPCs will cast poison or disease. Oh, it's in the game. I do want to try and turn in some more bone chips, though, just to ingratiate myself further with the cleric guild. Because I noticed Cleric's Thunderfoot went up. Um, but 25, I, I think Eurydites maybe are the race that start with like 30 in magic or something like that, which is amazing. But um, disease and poison are the lowest, but those are the ones you encounter the least, I would say. You're, as you play through this game, you're going to encounter a lot of NPCs, like those wizards that cast cold based spells, magic based spells. And fire. Where's the Taurus skeleton? I want to demonstrate my undead meek. I don't think I've done that on camera yet. I tried this once one or two levels ago and I got my ass kicked. And I still have so. I want to use so while I have it. What's over here? Oh, is this maybe the druid ring? There is a druid ring in this zone that I do remember how to get to, but there's multiple ways to get there. I know that there's a an undead tower in this zone too, where like multiple undead mobs spawn. thinking with my keyboard that like oh no so is fading like my keyboard is injured and if i let it heal the right arrow key will be fixed but that's not how mechanical objects work they're not like human bodies that can heal this uh this arrow key is broken this is insane i saw a bunch of them earlier they were right around here. Why? Why none now? Okay. Well, I know another place where they are. These snakes, I think, have all gone green. Well, <gasps> core flunk. Oh, let me do him. Let me do him. Okay. This is a great example. Now, I do think he's a shadow knight, so I think he's gonna harm touch me. He is an NPC that wanders in the zone. He's a real dick. I think the guards kill him, so he gets killed a lot because he wanders right up to the guards. Oh, but he's blue. Oh, come on. Is this my freaking force? Fuhrer? Hey, it goes up to 18 now. It's doing 17 in the previous level, so that's another thing that's gone. My heal should as well. This is exciting. Um, he drops something that's for a quest. In fact, I think what he drops is his own head. The other cool thing is this. Oh, come on. Stunned me. Damn it! Are you kidding me? Why is this a hole so resistant? I always used to call this guy Cornflake back in the day. So each time I cast this spell, it, it takes up less. Um, percentage of mana, which is also another benefit of leveling up. I think I, I, I got this guy. I just want to pull him back here because I'm worried that he's going to start running when he's low on health and he's going to run right to the guards and they're going to steal my XP. Okay, I'm going to heal myself. Getting my butt kicked. He should start. 
start running soon. NPCs typically start running when they're at about 20% health. You're gonna run, right, Core Flunk? Okay, good. What percentage did you start running? I know I hit it. Yeah, around 20%. Now, the, the exception to that is, well, if there's another NPC around them that's the same faction, they won't run, because they'll be like, I got backup, I don't need to run. I should say that they're social with, not that they have faction with, or are on the same faction. My one hand blind is still catching up. He's going right towards the guards. Okay, good. Turn around. The other exception is skeletons, beetles, and any kind of like boss NPC, like gods and dragons. I don't think they run. I wonder how blue this guy is. Oh, that's a pretty good experience. And I got his head. How heavy is an ogre head? Hmm, only two pounds. I would have thought more. <laughs> I gotta look up what quest, because there's another one. I think her name is like Zarumi. She is a female ogre NPC that wanders like over that way, back where I was looking for skeletons a minute ago. And I think if you get both their heads, you can turn them into a specific dwarf NPC in Kaladin. And you'll get, I don't know what you get actually, maybe uh, armor? Armor would be nice. This would be a good chance to show off. Um, I just want to sell some of this crap because I'm worried about being encumbered. Yeah, I'm pretty close. And of course now I find a dwarf skeleton. This would be a good chance to show off Meditate, because if you remember any of my previous videos, whenever I was this out of mana, it took forever to regain the mana. But in this case, I just want to sell real quick at that merchant that I got the large sewing kit. Now here's a great example. This would not have fit inside of this. In fact, I'll show you. Can't put it in there. This item is too big to fit in that container. But with the large sewing kit, you'll never have that problem. Oh, what's the max on this? Large, yeah. So large is the size right underneath. I think items go from tiny, small, maybe medium is the size. I'm not sure if items can be considered medium size. Medium, yeah, they, they can be, okay. Um, medium, large. Medium, large, and then giant. Hey girl, got some stuff for you. Should move this over. And the ogre head is no drop. I'm gonna look up what quest that is. Nothing else. All right. Maybe she has some uh, food and water. No. no. All right. So let me just real quick demonstrate. Really? Still blue at level eight. Okay, so my mana, let's just look. Per tick, it's going up. I'll wait one more. Is it just went up right as I put it there? So per tick, it's going up about one, one and a half percent, it looks like. Because see, it goes up and then it drops again. And then it'll drop to 15 of that. Yeah, okay. Now let's turn on Meditate. Let's check how fast it goes up now. 18% goes to... And keep in mind, my meditate skill is very low, but you can see it's going up faster for sure. And just by having the meditate button down, it'll start to go up the skill. Oh, that's an old dwarf skeleton. I'm not gonna try to mess with that one. He's probably about to get killed by a guard. Oh no, there are no guards over here. Just NPCs that don't help you. See, it's already at 37. I mean, that's huge. Um, maybe I will try to kill that thing. I'll get the 45 and then I'll go grab it. Already got one orange in, that's pretty good. And just to make sure it doesn't go down. 45, 48, okay. 
Where are you? No, this is the problem. I lose him. Cat. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm gonna pull him. But watch how much more damage this does. It does 38. My other nuke that can hit any kind of NPC does 7 or 18 now. This one does 38. And in fact, I think it does more than that. And it does cost a lot more mana. Granted, it costs 30 versus 20. Eh, that's not that much more. It takes longer to cast, 1.8 versus 2. But it's a huge win. The only downside to fighting skeletons is that they don't run. Um, and it, 38 is not the max. I think this one maxes out at 45 damage. But for the amount of mana I'm spending, it's way more efficient than if I were to cast Fury on it over and over. And that efficiency advantage, it goes up throughout the levels. Like, when I, whenever I get the next, I think this is Ward Undead, so let's say the next one is... I don't remember what they're called. Let's say it's called, like, Punish Undead. It'll keep going up. And, and it'll always be more efficient than my magic moves. All right, so this is where I am. This is how I feel. Lying on the floor. Um, I will come back when something interesting happens. All right, I, uh, I have a confession to make. Did something really dumb. <laughs> um, I was out in the Butcher Black Mountains and I was killing some dwarf skeletons. And I came back to turn in the bone chips because I wanted to boost my uh, faction with the cleric guild a bit more and also get some XP. Both worked out pretty well. And then I was on my way out and I actually bought a lantern from this guy. So I got this lantern here. So it replaced my small lantern. I was on my way out and I passed by that, that little leather shop, um, Tanned Assets, which once again, awesome name for a leather shop. Wow, level 47. Could be me someday. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I had, I think I had like 14 plat. I was like, I'm just going to go for it. So I bought, actually, let me show it this way. Let's just see this way. Oh, never mind. It's not. Okay, well, I bought the small leather belt. I upgraded the leggings, the boots. I got this lantern. This was still cloth. So that was my only piece that was still cloth. I upgraded that. I already had this. I upgraded these. Both wristbands, the gloves, the arms. This was not worth it. It was the exact same armor class. I didn't even look at that one. And they didn't have this. They didn't have the skull cap. So. But after I bought all that stuff, I looked at my um, my my money and I was like, ah, I don't have any money for spells now. So that could potentially end up impacting whether or not I can um, get my level nine spells because they're going to be more expensive than level five spells and I'm a little bit worried. So let's see what I have here. I did try to rectify that by killing a ton of skeletons, which you can tell by the XP here. But a lot of that ended up being right outside of, ugh, I still only have seven. A lot of that ended up being right outside Kaladin, which meant they were green low level skeletons. Because that was like right after I bought all the uh, leather armor. And I did kill a few giant bats, but mostly, which were blue, but mostly I was just farming for um, bone chips. Now, fortunately, I have two stacks plus eight. So that's like a bunch of turn ins. It's 48 bone chips total. I'm also up to Indifferent with the Cleric Guild, up from Apprehensive, so that's great. And I think, oh, there, um, no, I'm still so Indifferent with the Paladins, too. I don't know how my Paladin uh, faction's going up, but I'll take it. And I think, even though these are now giving me a lot less experience than they once did, I think that I have enough here to level. Hey, it would help me out, buddy, if you gave me some armor, because I need to sell that stuff for some money. Come on now, give me. Okay, good. And if you're wondering, no, you cannot just hand him a stack of four in one of these four slots. 
that uh, you won't accept that. At least I think. I sure as hell don't want to risk it. That's how it used to be back in the day. How close am I? Oh my gosh, maybe I don't have enough to level. The amount that I get is really diminished here. But look, each time I'm doing it, I'm not getting any faction unless Chasm Stormhammer is the Paladin Goat. I don't think it is. Yeah, I... Uh, maybe I have enough. Just in case. 1, 2, 3, slash... 213. Now I might... Whoa, he looked at me. <laughs> just because I typed that. Wow. Now my, uh, my armor class did go up overall just because I upgraded all that armor. Granted, each time I was only getting one armor class upgrade. Like, no piece except for this because it was cloth. Upgraded more than one armor class at a time. But I do see he's also giving me money each time. Sometimes more than others. This right here... Here could be the one that dings me. Okay. I'm thinking I'll, I'll barely have enough to buy the nice spells. Yeah! Alright, and now I'll just get these last ones. That was closer than I thought it would be. Okay, let's do our usual test. So we were 173, 213. We are one ninety two to eleven. What? Oh, <laughs> my armor class went down because I uh, my agility is down because I'm encumbered. So we will get the full number in a minute. Are these guys amiable? What? It's apprehensive. You know what I've done for you people? Killed so many skeletons. Turned into so many orc belts. I plan on level nine being mostly. I, I part of me wants to go back to Steampunk and try those um, those um, skeletons again, but it's not worth it. Okay, amiable. Let's see if I have enough. This this level's been a little uh, light on content anyway, so let me try to buy my spells here. Level nine would be. Crushed bone. Okay. Do you sell the spells I need? Uh, no. You sell. Look at that. Paladins don't get divine aura until level 58. That's funny. You sell one and five. I need. Well, I don't think I get any new skills. What the hell? Grave mold. Okay, then definitely not that guy. He sells very high level spells. Maybe you. Mm. So one thing I don't get at level nine, I know for certain is a new heal, which sucks. But the one that you get at level, I have cure disease, right? The one that you get at level 14 is really good. Yeah, I have cure disease, okay. Um. That's level 24, I think. Oh, 34, wow. This is what I get at 14, it's really, really good. But no, this, this guy's got nothing for me. What about you? You don't sell any spells. Pardon me, that's one about it, but I can't be buying crap right now. Okay, must be one of these, maybe you. too high come on give me the 9 and 14 oh there's calm there's one of the upgrades this is still too high though why are they not just like in order oh there we go okay so that's 14 oh this wait <gasps> yes okay it's this guy all right so that's oh my god four plat oh, are you kidding me Four whole plat? What is this guy con to me? Hate me, please. Damn. I mean, I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get Endure Fire. Well, it's only one gold, I'll get it. I guess I'll 
Yes, fuck it. No, not for four plat. This is madness. <sighs> Five gold? Yeah, I'll get that. I'm not getting that. I want to get root. Oh, okay, it's only four gold. Good. Soothe, that's the upgrade. God, it's four plat. Get that because it's one gold. Ugh, jeez. I got two more that are one plat. That is insane. I did not think they would be that expensive. Okay. Let's start memorizing this. Oh, also, now that I have meditate, my spells uh, memorize faster. Because remember the scribing used to be quick, but the memorizing would be slow. Okay. Uh, this replaces... This is actually going to be my real... Oh, and what's my new armor class? It's still two. Okay, so that's been consistent. This is going to be my real new hit point. Now, I'll drop Gate temporarily because Root is such a useful spell. It's in the category of, like, always have it up. Now, I said the same thing about Gate, and I probably will drop something here for Gate. In fact, I'll drop Minor Heal. Because really... The shit's hitting the fan so hard that I gotta cast my new heal. I'm probably already dead anyway. Okay. My first cast of center. 192 goes up to... Oh, and my AC went up by 217 and my AC went up by 1. Awesome. That's really good. Um, Fear is a good spell. It's not going to be super useful for me when I'm soloing. Because I don't have a way of snaring. So when, if you cast Fear without any kind of snare, the mob's just going to run around like a chicken with his head, his head cut off. <laughs> Especially in his own like Crush Bone, probably just aggroing more mobs. And it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, okay, let me see what else I can buy. Because I do have enough, I think, for one more spell. This, so like I could afford this, I think? Yeah, I could. Barely. Like I would literally have two silver left. This is an area of effect nuke. Uh, area of effect means it hits NPCs around me. I don't remember if it's green or purple. Purple means it can hit unlimited targets. I thought that they did actually put a cap on either 20 or 25 is the actual max. Um, it's, it's useful in certain situations. It's not useful across the board. Soothe, I guess Soothe is the better buy right now. Horror's Bane. Okay, so the only spell I feel compelled to still buy is, I, I do want Word of Pain for sure. I guess I would also say, did I get both of these? There's the one I didn't get. I didn't get Endure Disease, but I did get Fire and I didn't get Poison either. Okay, Endure Poison is good. I should get that. So I guess I'll come back here when I have like 12 plaques and I can get more-ish spells. Um, I actually like having Gate in the 5 slot. And then, because I think I'm going to go to Crush Bone, I don't need Ward Undead because it won't work on anything that's not undead. Crush Bone is the Orc dungeon in this game. And it's a great dungeon. It's actually outdoors, so it's not technically a dungeon. Oh, I was also going to buy another uh, large sewing kit because I put one in the bank just to increase my bank capacity. Yeah, I guess this works for now. Let's see, I got Divine Aura, Root, Pure. I'll explain Root next level. Soothe, Gate, Banner, Center, which is great, and Light Healing. All right, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, that's those are way higher spells. Okay, I think I'm good. And I will continue back. Oh wait, let me con the clerics now that I can all these dungeons. Still amiable. All right. Oh wait, no, it's amiable now from indifferent earlier. Okay, so it did go up one. Great. Okay, my work here is done. I am level five. Sorry, nine. <laughs> I was thinking of the other, uh, the other spell level. Jane's here, level nine. 